Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel at home with Morgan. Today we're doing a backyard makeover reveal. This is my fence going up, my pool landscaping, my pool itself going up, and then all of my plants and my landscaping stuff. So if you need all of the yard inspiration for this summer, then just stay tuned because I've got you covered. All right, so we're just hopping right into the most attractive clips I've ever put of me in a video. <laughs> this is honestly, okay, this was so hard. We put our fence up ourselves, my husband and I did. This was actually back in April or May, I can't remember, but we took a weekend and we rented a two-man auger because it was literally the only auger that they had available for us to rent and we didn't want to buy our own because we have no other use for it. So we wanted to get this, like it's like a pull behind one that has like an automated auger on the back. That would have been beautiful, wonderful, great. It has a bucket on the front so you can like take the dirt out. But like I said, they were all completely booked out for like a month. So we said screw it and just grabbed the two-man auger and I would never recommend using this thing. Although ours was super dull because we got it from a rental place. It was a lot of work. I am gonna be honest with you guys, it was way, way too much work. But um, honestly, we ended up hand digging the rest of the posts. We live in Minnesota, so we had to make sure that we had a good amount of like depth to the hole. We did, we went three feet down and then also used some pea gravel on the bottom with concrete. And then it was a quick set concrete that we just poured water into the hole. But this is just some amazing clips of Mike and I manhandling this two man auger. And I just, I just cannot, this footage is so funny to me. I dug about six or seven holes and I was dead. I was covered in bruises. So we actually had one of our friends come and help us, but this is the end result. We just had to do a back stretch of fence and then a couple in the front to put our gate up. But I'm loving the way that it came together. This is me actually getting ready to even out the ground for the pool. I had to level everything out. I've got it marked with spray paint where I wanted my pool to go in the corner. Make sure that you check with your city ordinances, etc., because it just does need to be like back a certain amount, etc., like in certain areas. But I made sure that I checked with the city and got the permits that we needed to get the pool up. And I started kind kind of just like laying down the brick in like the general area that I wanted it to go and started leveling out the ground, which was not very fun, but we ended up using just some leftover uh, dirt from like digging up the holes from the fence. And then I laid down a ton of sand and I ideally would have purchased in bulk from a landscaping company, but we didn't really have anywhere for them to bring it. So I had to buy it bag by bag and bring it into the back, but I just used a yard rake and just kind of raked it out and evened it out. I used some like landscaping um, levelers to make sure the ground was level and then I started putting up the pool. It was easier for me to put it up upside down and then flip it around. So moving on to like this side yard, our neighbor um, did not let us tie into their fence. So we have to put up a temporary sort of fence until we can get more vinyl um, fence panels in. So that is what I'm doing here is I'm just kind of putting in this no dig fence so that the dog dogs and the kids can't sneak out of the gaps in the fence. Um, we are struggling with that a little bit with the kids still trying to sneak out of like the little gaps, but I'm hoping once we get that final stretch of vinyl fencing up next year, that that will take care of all the issues that we're having. Um, and then I also went, I had a ton of pea gravel left over from the fence posts. So I actually used that to level out the ground even more so behind like where the pool pump was to give the soil some more drainage. When the pool overflows, it does tend to make a little bit of a mess and this pea gravel has really helped with that so I highly recommend. And then here I'm just watering my plants. 
This is the side yard and I wanted to show you guys what it's kind of looking like right now. I just have some hydrangea cuttings in here along with some hostas. I definitely need to weed it out because there's a lot of grass and weeds coming in and I need to lay down some landscaping fabric. These are just some plants that I had quickly planted when we first moved into the house on the side of the house and the hydrangea cuttings were from this here from a neighbor of mine. So I'm just trying to get everything a really good water. You can see right here in this clip that we stopped the landscaping at a certain point. We are putting curbing down in the next month or so. Um, and once that curbing is in, then I will lay down fabric, landscaping fabric, and I will also put down some more mulch to match the front. So this is the front yard and we plan to have it curved out very soon. It's going to happen all at the same time with the backyard, but I'm just watering all of my plants in the front. I'm loving the wave petunias this year. I've got all pinks and purples and it just really makes our front porch pop. The ones on the right hand side are the bubblegum petunias. If you guys are wondering, it's just such a beautiful like bright pink color and I'm not really a pink person, but when it comes to flowers, I love the pop that pink gives for your front porch. I also pulled out all of my indoor plants and I put them on my covered front porch and it is south facing so I'm able to get a lot of really good sun. My fiddle fig as of right now has put out six new leaves. This footage was taken a about three weeks ago that where I'm watering and fertilizing the plants. It was taken about about three weeks ago. And I now have a total of six new leaves and an entirely new stem on my fiddle fig. I owe a lot of it to the south facing front porch. South facing is really great for tropical indoor plants, but you wanna make sure that they are covered because they were more than likely grown in a greenhouse and they can't handle that full direct sun. Um, but I'm going in with my 936 um, Foliage Pro plant fertilizer. I'll leave it linked down below for you guys. And I do use this on all of my indoor plants. I like to, in the winter time, what I'll do when I am fertilizing them because I only fertilize them once in a while in the winter um, but I usually like to use it in a water pitcher but because I'm just using the hose I just applied it directly to the roots and then I gave it a really really good water and I also apply this plant fertilizer to my wave petunias because it makes them go insanely wild the hanging wave petunia was completely killed off back in June we had a really really bad heat streak and it was like a week full of like it was just a week of straight 100 plus degrees and it was dry there was no rain it was awful almost completely killed that wave petunia on the top almost completely killed that wave petunia on the top but i gave it some of that fertilizer and really babied her back to life and now she's thriving again so if you guys need a plant fertilizer again again refer to that 936 foliage pro stuff because i get it off of amazon and i believe for a gallon it's like 50 bucks i get the smaller one because i'm cheap and it's like 11 dollars. but i just do a cap full for each plant um, during the summertime and then in the winter i'll just do a cap full per like huge like gallon um watering jug but anyways that's what I've been doing and I've been getting awesome production on my plants my bird of paradise is so much bigger now you guys should see it it's insane just in three weeks it is so huge I've gotten three new leaves on it my monstera has four new leaves just awesome stuff. I even babied back one of my ferns with this. I just can't recommend this enough. It is not sponsored, but it has saved my plants and has really like amped up the production and growth mode on my indoor and outdoor plants. Um, I also have the tipped over planter. If you guys saw my front porch makeover video, this is kind of an update for you. The plants are all thriving. As you can see that tipped over bucket, I think is so cute. It really gives me like English garden vibes. I don't know why, but I've just got a lot of, can't remember remember what kind of flowers I have in there. Somebody told me in the last video. So if you can help me out, put it in the comments down below. Um, they are such cute little baby flowers and they have like just really, really thick like leaves and they just look so cute. And like I said, remind me of an English garden. Um, I put this succulent out. You can kind of see it in this clip. I put a succulent out, which is hardy to my zone, which I am like a zone four. Um, and this succulent does really well. And it right now in the summer, it's just thriving. Again, if you guys came from my front porch makeover video, you'll also notice that I had to swap out my hydrangeas. So in the front right now, I have these like mini dwarf something bushes, um, but then I also have um, honeysuckle bushes there. They're dwarf honeysuckle bushes. Um, I know honeysuckle is usually a vine, but this is a bush. And um, anyway, so I had to swap out my hydrangeas because they were labeled as full sun, but that full sun that I got in June, those poor hydrangea bushes were just struggling. So I had to move them to the the back in a partially shaded area and now they're doing much better um, here is an update of my 
front, like my mailbox area. Um, and all of this is doing really well. The silver mounds have just totally, totally grown in. I had the most beautiful iris bloom. These are like a dark purpley blue iris and they're so beautiful when they bloom. It's usually an earlier bloom, like early June, mid June. They're so beautiful. But all of this is really filling out nicely and I'm loving the way that everything has come together for the landscaping so far. So I do most of the lawn mowing at my house because my husband when he gets home at night is usually working on M&M Rustic orders. Um, I've shared this before, but we are trying to wrap up orders and we are going to be taking a break for a little while this winter, not taking as many orders um, so that he can help out with some things around the house. And we're gonna focus in on videos for you guys over on the M&M Rustics channel. We do plan on um, renovating our camper. So I'm super excited. We're gonna do that over the winter, which sounds crazy, but our camper has heat. So we're gonna renovate that and share all of the videos with you guys over on that channel. And we're going to be doing home renovations as well. So if you love a good home renovation video or DIY or camper reno, then make sure that you head over to the Eminem Rustics channel, which is always linked in the description box and give it a subscribe. We'll be having tons of videos there this winter and we'll be starting a TikTok for our Eminem Rustic videos too. So if you like the shorter form of the DIYs and the camper renos, head on over to our TikTok page. I also have a personal TikTok page if you guys want to follow along for any weight loss tips because that's where I share all of my weight loss stuff and like recipes and low carb faves, things like that. I just hit 60,000 over on TikTok and I'm super proud of that because I just started it back in January. So anyways, head on over to TikTok and over to our other YouTube channel if you wanna check out any of the DIYs and renos that are coming. But anyways, this is how I mow the lawn. It's super easy, straightforward. I love it because I get my steps in for the day every single time that I mow the lawn. And I, there's nothing better than a fresh cut lawn. Like the smell and the look is, I just, I love it so much. It's one of my most favorite parts of summer. Um, and I just do the regular lines because I'm not fancy enough to do the diagonal lines on there. 
but it has been a really, really hot summer. And actually right now we are in a water restriction mode, so I can't water the grass. I'm thankful that our grass looks as good as it does. Ours is looking pretty decent. We also pay for a company to come and uh, like do a weed and feed four times a year. So that really helps get all of the weeds out. Um, but here I'm just trimming up the sides of the driveway. I'm not a pro at this at all. I did see a TikTok that I want to try out with some zip ties because I because I hate the retractable um, like little wiry things that are inside of the trimmer. Sorry, I'm not a pro when it comes to my terminology for lawn mowing stuff, but. Like I said, I do appreciate a nice, fresh cut, clean lawn. Another tip for you guys is that if you are going through a drought like we are here in the Midwest, I'm from Minnesota, and we are going through a little bit of a drought here. We've gotten some sprinkled rain here and there over the past couple of weeks, which has been nice, but, but when you're in the middle of a drought like this, um, do not cut your lawn as often. Let your grass grow. Once I know some like HOA like rules um, don't allow you to have your grass over a certain length, but try to let to grow out as much as possible and don't do what I'm doing here and cut it in the middle of the day if it's really hot and you're going through a drought try to cut it early in the morning or late at night um, late at night is the best because um, then the next morning there's like morning dew etc it's really good for the lawn so okay anyways that's all I really know about lawns I'll let you guys enjoy the before and after and the process of me doing my lawn So in this portion of the video, yes, I am watering my lawn, but this was right before our water restriction. So I promise I'm not watering my lawn anymore. Um, I was just giving it a good thorough water because we were heading on vacation right after this. Um, here is the pool. I will have more clips of this in the next video. I just didn't want it to get too long, but I do have some backyard landscaping stuff I'll be sharing with you guys in another video in a couple of weeks. So, so like I mentioned, I did take these clips of, right before we went on vacation a few weeks ago, but here is the new growth on my fiddle fig. It's an entirely new branch and there are two leaves right here, but now there are a total of six new leaves. I also babied back this one, which was totally dead. This Boston fern was unalive, 100%. It was very dead. And with that 936 Foliage Pro fertilizer and some frequent watering, and I moved it more so in the shade that was protected, um, that brought it back to life as well as these wave petunias in the hanging basket. Like I mentioned, we had a really bad heat streak back in June. It was over a hundred degrees and it just destroyed the like flowers on my front porch but I was able to bring those ones back to life and I'm so proud of that. I also filled in a dead patch of grass that was right next to this landscaping and it has filled in beautifully. And here is a close up of that tipped over bucket. I had some um, dead ivy here but I was able to bring that back with a little bit of love. Everything has really struggled this summer with how dry and hot it has been. 
All right, you guys, that is gonna wrap it up from me for today's video. I hope you enjoyed the yard makeover. I am so excited to finally be sharing this with you guys. If you liked it, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel before you leave if you want all of the DIY home inspo. We've got the holidays coming up and I can't wait to share more with you guys. All right, I will see you next week for another really fun home video. Okay, bye you guys.